Women. Without objection, so ordered. The gentleman from Hawaii is recognized. Good morning. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise to address this House for what will likely be my formal, uh, last formal address from this floor. While my term has been short, it has been honor and privilege representing the people of Hawaii. It is testimony to the greatness of our nation that a child of immigrants from China and Thailand can call himself a maker of laws in the United States. I want to first thank the voters of Hawaii for giving me this opportunity to serve them, but I also want to thank all the volunteers who worked so hard to get me. But most of all, I want to thank my family for giving me everything that I have. I believe that a limited government is better at establishing prosperity than an expansive government. I believe a vibrant two-party democracy is better at preserving liberty than one-party monolithic rule. And I believe an open and responsive public officials is better at ensuring an accountable government than an old boy network. But I also believe one of the beauties of our nation is that the voters always have the final say. And while I may be disappointed in my results and recognize that my views are in the minority in my congressional district, yielding to the final word of the voters is something that I always will respect. May God bless this House and God bless the United States of America. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield back.